package could be the rarest Lego brick that I own, or I got scammed. Hello everyone, it's the Lego Bricks here, and I really hope this isn't a scam, but I do feel it. It is a pretty big Lego brick. I'm not going to say much more. I'm going to dive into the unboxing because this is really exciting. Pretty rare Lego brick that I spent an extortionate amount of money on just for one piece, but I really hope it's worth it. And if I got scammed, at least have the eBay money back guarantee. Don't you just love that Mr. Beast of Lego? I absolutely love it. But anyway, let's dive into the unboxing. So as it says, mystery package. First class raw mail. Obviously, I covered up my address to put mystery package there. I'm really excited. This could be the rarest brick in my collection. So let's open it up. I really hope I didn't get scammed. I'll tell you how much money I spent on this after we have opened it. So here we go. I'm butchering it with the scissor skills as normal. I really hope I haven't just hit the prick and I felt something. Here we go. No, no, I didn't get scammed. It is here and it's actually covered up, so I'm gonna have to show you what it is in another shot. I may have spent far too much money buying one singular Lego Duplo brick. I think I'm going insane. I put out a community post saying that, and your reactions in the comments of that were hilarious. Right, let me try and open it up. One thing I am happy about is that it did come in the original packaging. It wasn't actually advertised as that, so I thought I'd be getting the loose brick, but here we go. Here it is. It is the Lego Star Wars Days, August 7th to 8th, 2010 from Legoland, California, all the way from the States. This is a really rare Duplo brick made especially for those days, for like Star Wars Day. They had an event going on and they made Star Wars Duplo. They've never released this widely to the public, so I'm really happy that I managed to add this to the collection. Here you can see it close up, and I'm so happy that it's in almost perfect condition. I think it pretty much is in perfect condition. It's obviously a massive Duplo brick, so it does actually fit with other Lego Duplo that I don't have. I'm not a Lego Duplo collector, as you'd probably imagine. It says Star Wars Days, August 7th to 10, 2010. It has this awesome minifigure of Boba Fett. You can see the old Boba Fett design. Lego Land, California. This is awesome. I think if you turn it around, it's just white, yeah, as I expected. But it's so awesome, and it's really rare. I didn't actually come across it until I saw the eBay listing. Just to give you some idea of how rare this is, when I saw it listed for £20, I was like, oh, wow, that's a lot of money for one single Duplo brick. But I'm kind of tempted. It's pretty rare. And I looked around. I could not find one single video on the whole of YouTube even mentioning this or featuring it in any way, shape, or form. I looked on other selling websites. Absolutely nothing. It was the only one sold on eBay. And I only actually actually found it listed, like literally a description of it, on only two websites. So that's how rare it is. I spent 20 solid minutes kind of scrolling through the internet trying to find any sort of reference to this and I could only find two, I think, from different websites saying, oh yeah, this used to be sold but it's no longer sold and I'm so lucky that I stumbled across this and managed to get it. I actually bought it for £4 lower than the actual price, so yeah, bartering as usual, typical me. Lego Brit trying to scam another innocent <laughs> bystander. But seriously, I'm so glad I managed to get it. Check out this video, this is my first 20th anniversary set. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.